Hello, my name is Wayne Shaler. I'm president of Cine Real Pro Video Productions, located here in Ottawa. More importantly, I'm a former graduate of Nepean High School, 1965 to 66. It was our privilege to film the Nepean High School 75th anniversary reunion, the video. We hope that this video brings back many fond memories of your time at Nepean High School. And we will see you in the 100th reunion in the year 2023. Big thing. Uh, 75th anniversary, not too many institutions reach that, lab, that anniversary. Exactly. I think, Dan, there's really two parts to it. The first part is the organization, which has brought together our parent community, students, the staff, and a lot of times we don't get the opportunity to work that closely with each other. So really there's the organization that's been going on now for over a year, and then there'll be the actual event itself, uh, where basically the current students and staff will be hosting former students and staff. So I'm actually enjoying the lead up too. I'm meeting a lot of parents that normally I wouldn't, or maybe just meet and say hi to, but get a chance to work with. Yeah. And uh, a lot of students, you find out things about them you didn't know and skills that they have, and that's really starting to come to the fore. I think uh, I'm just going to get some help from the computer class. Okay. Ray, were you able you're to get getting that? it, you're getting it. Okay. All right. But it's important that we, we get the information of people sending back there. So, uh, but there is lots of ice, uh, Rick, and there are teams that... Uh, oh, I, I realize that. Yeah. Bertie, if you could get me those signs ASAP so I can... Oh, that's great. <laughs> Let me know before Easter what you want in terms of the balloon streamers, like outside of what Daphne's going to get in Stittsville. Because okay. uh, I want to put in a blanket order with Osters. Uh, there'll be extra tables on there. And well, we're, we're on those four first. Yeah, I know, but if we can put them all on discs right now. They should be on the boxes. Frankie? Right. Just stay right there, dude. Uh, okay. Well, you didn't need your first six pieces. Yeah. There's a tape cooler. There's writing for the... I should go pull my hair. No. Nah. Right, stick on. <laughs> to immediately, if I can't get things set up for... <laughs> principal at Nepean High School from uh, 1970 to 1976. Uh, my perhaps the biggest memory or in terms of what we're here for tonight it was the 50th reunion which was uh, 1973 and uh, a lot of interesting things uh, happened around that uh, reunion. Uh, perhaps the most striking one was a streaker, the final assembly prior to the Friday evening show at that reunion and I remember that streaker well although I still am not sure who it was. What are your basic impressions of the re reunion this year? The staff, the staff function this evening is just great. Uh, many of the teachers who are here have retired from the school since I left in 76 and it was really good to see them all again. They all look great. That's excellent. Thank you very much for your time. Okay. Thank you. My name's Lou, Lou Labras, uh, better known when I was here as Louie. I came in 1943, uh, sent by Toronto to complete the year because a teacher had left uh, rather abruptly in uh, May, 
and the principal decided to keep me on in the fall. I stayed for 18 years, had a wonderful time, met a lot of people, got a lot of great friends. Best years, no doubt, were at Nepean High School where I coached everything from basketball to hockey to tennis, both, both boys and girls, and some of the parents were frowning at the thought of a man coaching a girl's team, but we survived. <laughs> any special memories in particular uh, from the pian? Well, I remember the spirit that dominated uh, the students even when we were competing against teams like Glebe Collegiate or Lisger Collegiate or TAC which had uh, m many more students than we had and better facilities yet every year we were in there fighting playing and, and winning a few uh, games. There is Mr. Kent was the janitor and he lived here and he had an apartment and uh, he uh, would mrs kent sometimes during the winter when she found students coming in from bell's corner and carp in that area they didn't have a lunch and she would bring them in for a hot lunch and she, they had their apartment here mr well it sounds like you had a wonderful time here in Nepean. i had a great career and when i came in tonight i walked in and i saw one lad coming down the the hallway and that he was here in 1946 and I said Midgley get your shoes on because he always used to come in the gym without his shoes on <laughs> and I said your two brothers Dave and Vince I recognized them I hadn't seen him for I guess well 52 years well thank you very much for your time that's great Thanks. my pleasure <laughs> Neil Wyatt and I have the distinct pleasure of being the ninth principal to serve at Nepean High School. Um, well, basically, what kind of preparations had to go into this 75th reunion? Well, I must say that probably the preparations are going to prove to be just as much fun as the actual event. It's taken us approximately a year and a half, uh, mostly under the direction of Mr. Meller, who has done a tremendous job on top of his teaching and his coaching. He's identified uh, a number of key people, both students, parents, former staff, to serve on a number of committees. I think we have a total of about 25 different uh, chairs of committees. And uh, basically, it's just been a labor of love, I think, that uh, we've put in a lot of hours, and now we get the payoff this weekend. School environment now in the 90s, what is it like? Well, I think it's very different. It is, the school show that I just saw was quite humorous, actually, the, the, the slant they had. I think. I don't think we're as strict as far as rules and girls have to walk on this side of the hall and this is the up staircase and the down staircase. Uh, that has its trade-offs. I, I think um, we're probably much too or much more open and flexible as far as rules go, but I mm -hmm. think there are a lot of issues obviously we have to face today that they didn't have to face in the 40s, 50s and 60s. Um, do you know, Mr. Wyatt, how many uh the people that have attended Nepean might be here for the reunion? Well, we're hoping our registration now uh, for the dinner dance, for example, is about 550. Now, that's for the actual mm -hmm. dinner event dance. As far as registrants go, it really started to speed up. We're well over, well, cl getting close to 800 now. And uh, I know that that has really speeded up uh, in the last couple of days. And I think Mr. Miller and his group is going to have to give us some final figures because I know there's a number even just tonight that are signing up at the desk that didn't pre-register. So I think we're going to be uh, very, very pleased with the total number. And I would expect it's going to be 950 or 850 to 900. So it's more than you expected? Yeah, it's slightly more, but that's a good surprise. That's great. Thank you. <laughs>
Yeah. This is it. Is that it? Is this the tour? Sure. You've got to behave yourself. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have a hard time acting. You're rough tour. That's cool. Chris, sir? Two, sir? Ah. No, uh, right here we just got the heritage corn. It's the main part in the pean. It was built in 1922 for about $100,000. Um, right here we got the Ontario Scholars up top, right there, and now it's over 85, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> and then right here we have the library. That used to be the office, and right up here used to be the library. I guess, yeah. Um, I think they switched them just for, for more space and stuff like that. And they really, the office is a lot more condensed now, I think, than it used to be. Yeah, into the student services yeah. room, which is down there. We'll see that in a couple of seconds. And these right here, former head boys and head girls. Behind the uh, trophy case here was once where the library was. Okay, this this uh, this is the administration of the main office, which used to be across the hall in the library area. We are now entering the main office, which also has changed significantly. You can notice that there's now lots of computers sitting around. And Mr. Wyatt rules from the behind the blue door. How are you, sir? Me, the boss, thought you were the boss. <laughs> <laughs> now, how's it going? It seems to be progressing all right. Now, if I was we haven't standing, said too many nasty things about you. If I was standing here you? back in uh, 1943, where would I be? Where would you be? You would be far be very short. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, who uh, were here in the 60s or earlier than that won't recognize this end of the building because uh, originally the middle staircase went up to the third floor, whereas now it goes down. If you want to get up to the third floor, you have to proceed by these staircases here. Changed, but the uh, inside parts haven't. Okay, so that's a separate problem. Let's have to go friggin' mix. Um, 
everyone. I am your chief educator, Miss Grundy. Please give me your undivided attention and nothing less. I said nothing less. Let me quiet! To this year's economics class of 1936-37. This is not the scarlet. From red. For now put out your hands, both of you. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. students lost their lives serving our country in World War II. We've got pens, what about you? Well, 
I went to high school, I knew what the words proper etiquette meant. Manners were commonplace. Now I feel like I have to pull teeth just to hear the words ma'am or please. If it's such a beautiful day in the neighborhood, then why does Mr. Rogers always wear a sweater? But of course, children, that just about does it. That's all the time you have for this exam. So if you can put your pens down because the exam's over. Yeah, pens down. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Finally. September 11th, 1922, put it in. September 22nd, nine, September 11th, I'm sorry, 1922, just right up there. Oh, I wasn't looking down. And it's for, uh, it was, Broadview was built in 1917. They had their 75th, I think, four years ago or so, four or five, I'm not even sure what year it is right now, so. You're not in a math. <laughs> no, not really. I'd like to welcome you all to our tree memorial planting ceremony. It's in honor of our 75th anniversary here at Nepean. We start with introducing our special honored guests that we have here today. Mrs. Marlene Catterall sorry. and uh, Judith Hoy, Mr. McCarthy, um, Mr. Sean Little, president to our club, Sarah Partridge. It is an appropriate gift for Nepean to celebrate Nepean's history as well as its future. Um, especially as being the head of environmental club, I find that trees represent four main themes, life, hope, health, and fun. Um, I've had a lot of these four themes throughout being at Nepean High School in my last four years, and it's been exciting to talk to all the alumni who have been in the halls to see that these four themes have been at Nepean High School in the last 75 years. To finish off, I'd like to say, Nepean, play the game. The Ottawa Carleton District School Board, I would like to thank you all for this wonderful reunion and the chance to be here. I noticed looking at the autograph board in the hall that people have been signing that many of the leaders in both the former Ottawa and Carleton systems are indeed alumni of Nepean and I know that the people who are here now will continue to be the leaders in our education system in the future and I, I wish you all the be very best. Thank you. Nepean of course goes back to when this part of on where we're standing right now was still part of the city of Nepean, which is why it's Nepean High School. It uh, was gradually became part of the city of Ottawa and I'm very delighted to uh, have the honor of being the Member of Parliament for a riding that bears that name, Ottawa West Nepean. So I congratulate everybody on having a wonderful reunion and thank you for inviting me. Thank you very much. Well, 
19 years ago, I was uh, standing where Sarah is, as the president of the Environmental Club, when I was a student at Nepean High School. And uh, it's quite a moment to be back here today and uh, to see old friends. And uh, Nepean has a long tradition of, of serving this community and continues to have that tradition. Uh, the tree that we're planting here today has particular significance, I think, in, in uh, the wake of this year's ice storm, which was so devastating to our city. And uh, I think it represents hope for the future, as Sarah said, and, uh, and continued growth for the school. Uh, I don't know if I'll still be around when it's, when it's a, a full-grown tree or not, but I hope to get back to see it if I am. And uh, certainly want to wish the club uh, continued success in their efforts. I know they've been working very hard. And it's uh, an honor to be here today as your councillor for the City of Ottawa and to be here celebrating this, this ceremony with you. And I thank you for inviting me as well. Best of luck like that. You're young now and protected by the earth that holds you. Busy, growing roots, safe in the ground and solid. You finally will push your way up under the open sky, arms held out, embracing the air around you, putting your breath, your very breath, back into the atmosphere so that we may breathe. You will stand up under the rain and the sun, sway with the wind. You'll be quiet under a still sky, listening and learning to work with the elements around you eventually towering above the ground, acquiring a greater vantage point. You will merge and change with the seasons, so the elements will nourish, not destroy you. You will know when you are ready to give the sap that runs in your veins so that others may benefit. You mark the landscape by your presence, even point the way home for the one who looks to you when he crosses your path to find his way back. The days and the years are imprinted on your soul, rings of time echoing, we are still here, even 75 years later, still doing what we do, creating air where we can breathe and merge with the seasons. You are the culmination of what you have done and what you continue to do, bringing the memories and the days into a collage of life that still stands, your roots growing deeper, your trunk getting wider, your limbs spreading out with the sap flowing in your veins. 75 years later, you continue to grow limbs, altering the landscape with your presence, nurturing the atmospheres of the world and the young may breathe and grow to taste the sweet sap of your efforts. Beautiful poem.
According to my sheet, it's going to be soon undergoing renovations. Renovations? Yeah. Yes. And in there, that's the DREM office. For you, I'm not sure what it was before. Now you can, from there, you can walk out on a sort of cakewalk above the off, above the uh, auditorium, check the lights, etc. Okay, moving upstairs, uh, we passing towards the math area or to the left, or the shops area, where they do woodworking. And nowadays, they do uh, some computer work, CADCOM, now known as design technology. Finally, just the shop. And if, if we're lucky, they're going to be given to retiring teachers. So it's pretty well a typical shop. Shops are not a, a big area of Nepean, being an academic school, but they turn out some amazing products periodically. And in fact, from shops at Nepean uh, came one of the champion duck carvers. I was a teacher here from 1954 till 1967 and I taught shop and all the maths up to grade 12 English and uh, some geography. I ran the night school for, for the shop and they were doing uh, metal work and they uh, made, I think, all the wrought iron railings in this area of the town. Really? Oh yes. They, Anybody ever came in the door and said, and I asked them, what do you want to make? Rod and Rick. I even made my own. <laughs> so, 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 I, this reunion is a success. Have you met any uh, people that you've known from the past? I have met about uh, 10 from the past. Maybe more. I, I didn't count. I, but there are a lot of people here I know. And uh, it, it's wonderful. You know, to see them all again, it's just great. Just terrific. <laughs> Jeez. And I'm still vertical. That's good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know. Because, yeah. Uh, we really were a, a good mix, kids and teachers here. Just terrific. They were good years. So, and, in fact, uh, five girls showed up in the, in the oh, you might know, in the staff room tonight <laughs> and gave a cheer and so on. And the, all, all the girls I taught, mm. and the, they haven't changed one. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Len Hackett, I'm the teacher of design technology here at the Dean High School. Uh, 3D Studio Max and Character Studio. 3D Studio Max. For the creator in all of us. CAD level 3, grade 10 students are doing uh, AutoCAD level 10. The senior students are doing AutoCAD level 13, 14, and 3D Studio. This is part of the displays left from the uh, 75th. So they're all they either last year or the year before. Third floor of the so-called new wing, which means about 1958, and this is the math wing. These are various math classes.
Mm-hmm. One of those days you just sort of think, darn, I just said, oh, um, how about the reunion? And I said, I'm going to regret this. <laughs> no. Yeah, David Eames is back. He works for IBM in Toronto. <laughs> so you're wondering here.
Uh, 1967, I think. Oh, it has to be wrong. Pro I. They used to have chemistry in here. Yep. I always figured that, you know, 
you should you should work when you're 14, <laughs> and then go back. To There's so many staircases right, right here. Oh, this way, yeah. Yeah. Okay. This way here. Oh, we're gonna go this way right here to the. And here we'll just. Well, thank you very much for coming on the tour. The cafeteria. Because I can remember there used to be classrooms up that. Tell me. The correct thing is going to be. And right here. Yes. Oh, physically locked in. Physically locked in. The door that went down to the boys is a teacher. Well, that's true. Hi. 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 Hi.
my name is Gary Smith. I was vice principal here from uh, 1980 to 1985 and principal from 1988 to 1993. Do, does anything in particular stick out from your time at, at Nepean? Well, certainly the, the academic excellence of the school and the music programs and the um, athletic programs in the school. Uh, they were always uh, high quality. And uh, how, what do you think of the 75th reunion so far? I think it's great. It's, uh, a lot of people I haven't seen in quite a while. And uh, great to see everyone and talk to everyone. And uh, it's a, a good crowd tonight. And do you think that the atmosphere at uh, Nepean has changed since you were pr vi principal and vice principal here? No. Uh, when I walked in tonight, it was like going home. Uh, and the attitude of everyone around was still the same, friendly, and uh, uh, just a great group of people. We've only had it for about four years. Huh. And so right out here is just the back campus. Yeah. Broadview over there, did any of you go to Broadview? Oh, oh yes. Of course. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, someone did. Someone did. Someone did. Someone did. Did you get kicked out of Broadview, Gil? Yeah, probably. <laughs> How many times? Wow. Bye, Ronnie. Come <laughs> on. 
Science and computers. Outside is Lila time. And this is this is the second floor of the science wing, which has changed drastically since the very early eighties. The room to your right, the rooms to your right were both chemistry labs at that time. And then I'm not interested in that. Yeah, this is the biology lab. I don't know what's, what's going on in there. Yeah, you, you decide which one is. Yes. Okay. Here you have a grade 9 or grade 10 science class. Some very attractive students at the front desk there. The teacher apparently has left. Passing down to this so called science dungeon. <laughs> smells of sulfur, etc. The good smells of chemistry. Side, we have one of the nicer science classrooms, a physics lab. And there is uh, the head of department imparting knowledge to all his intelligent students. At present empty, we do a field trip, one of the many field trips that occur at the Pean High School. This is a relatively new design. 
in the old days, the science lab can, would have uh, a double bench, one student sitting at either side of the bench with uh, gas jets to play with and taps to play with. With the new renovations, we now have the students separated from the playthings. They do their lab work at the back and you do the thinking at the front. We have typical safety equipment, eye wash station, shower, which occasionally has oh. been pulled at the wrong end, at the wrong. We have fume hoods, which originally there used to be small fume hoods that you think at, at some of the desks. Now we have a separate area for the uh, fume hoods, so we can the fumes out to the smoker section at the back of this. Okay. Yes. You can see here we had some leak, the main chemistry stocking. We have thousands of chemicals. Okay. Remember, this is the Hoffman apparatus for generating hydrogen and oxygen. This is a red, rather crude device for measuring conductivity of solutions and other materials. At one time, that was a nurse's office, the second nurse's office, and it's now the co no, the, the co-op office. The uh, main, main hall in the heritage wing again, substantially renovated. And the so-called old gym is down here. It's had a varied history, some of which I just don't know. It's used for aerobics, and there's a weight room at the far end.
take his ed teacher. When was this done? This, I think, was 58. I believe this, the gym was added on 58, if I remember correctly. The floor, lots of Nepean knights on the, on the walls. This is the male, male phys ed area. with Nepean. Thanks, Marley. I, uh, my name's Bonnie Stewart Anderson, maiden name Stewart. I graduated from Nepean High School in 1969. I'd like to introduce you folks to my husband, Jim Anderson, who uh, uh, came with me for this weekend. Um, my, my memories of Nepean uh, have just come flooding back since I've been walking these halls and their wonderful memories, especially of the, uh, the music department. I remember Mr. Roy, I remember being part of his choir. I was here for the centennial um, celebrations and uh, he worked so hard on getting us geared up to, to sing for the school. And I've met, uh, I've met a few folks that uh, I knew back then. I think even better still, I've, I've seen some folks I didn't even know had graduated from Nepean and I've met over the years. And uh, we've made some new friends as well. Yeah. Yeah. After finishing at uh, Nepean, I, I went into nursing for a short time and uh, then moved out to the East Coast. I have uh, two children, 27 and 25, and four grandchildren, which is the best part of being a parent. And then I went back to school at age 35 to Algonquin College and I graduated as a technical writer and now I work at Nortel. Who's it particularly I find impressive to realize that the band playing out on the floor right now is just a junior band. You know, I could just imagine how good the senior band sounds. But the overall layout of everything that's been done for this uh, celebration I think is just fantastic and so many students that are putting the time in to make this thing run. Take a seat, please. Uh, we can begin. I would like to, at this point, to welcome everyone here this evening. I know that a number of you have uh, spent the weekend with us. Many have not been here for perhaps 20, 30, and some even perhaps 40 years. I know that uh, this evening, probably, I hope you have met a number of friends and acquaintances. I'll tell you who I am. I'm the uh, fortunate person who is the ninth principal of uh, Nepean High School and I consider myself extremely fortunate to uh, be so, and thank you very much. <laughs> Having said that, I should also add that uh, I unfortunately was a graduate of Fisher Park High School. Many of you are reading, yeah, I knew that was coming. And I uh, must tell you as well that I've regretted it for the last uh, 35 years. It was not my choice. There was an IQ competition, I wrote it, ended up at Fisher. Anybody know Willie Dunn? Look, he's grabbing the mic right out of my hand here. In 1966, we beat Fisher on November 10th 
I think it was 11 or 12 to uh, 11 that for the football championship, right? Neil? Yeah, that was. Uh, thanks, Willie, for reminding me of that. That's really good. <laughs> Again, a very warm welcome. I hope you will enjoy yourself this evening. I hope as well tomorrow will be an opportunity for you to return and join us for brunch. Uh, we do have someone that uh, I want to introduce that uh, is going to say grace for us. He's a gentleman I know that many will uh, recognize as a person who uh, started at Nepean as a teacher back in 54. That's right, Mr. Bill McCarthy. So I'd ask Mr. McCarthy. quiet because it gets really cranky if people say things while he's speaking. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm going to call on a gentleman by the name of Jack McNabb, who again is the bravest person in the room. He would uh, say grace for the group and he uh, kindly consented to do so. Bless O Lord this food to our use and us to thy service and make us ever mindful means of others. In Jesus' name, amen. May you have a lovely evening and enjoy yourself. Welcome back. Uh, Christine Halpenny, along with Nadine Bjornstad, put in a lot of work. And uh, one of her last tasks for tonight will be to try and get everybody fed. So again, have a wonderful evening and uh, welcome back. Thank you very much. Uh, good evening, I'm Christine Halpenny and I'm from 1988. And hello to my fellow ladies back there, thank you for coming. Uh, Ms. Bjornstad. Thank you, Mr. Wyatt. I'd like to invite the people at the very back of the gym, the last three tables on the far side and this side, to come forward to the buffet, and then when people have returned to their tables, the next rows in. Please proceed. Enjoy. One at
is Terry Sleen, my wife Jan. Um, we live in Micanopy, Florida right at the moment. Um, I left Nepean High in 1962. My parents retired to Florida and uh, we've been coming back. We've enjoyed the reunion very much. Started enjoying it on Thursday evening and uh, have been to the casino to dance and, uh, and really enjoyed ourselves. The, the dinner dance last night, mm -hmm. uh, probably the best, but everything's been great. Um, we've, uh, we've run into a lot of friends and just generally had a, a fantastic time. I think the neat thing is that you're walking around with a name tag and even though I'm not an alumni, people look at you, hey, you look familiar, where have I seen you? And People become uh, very uh, unbashful and very friendly. Well, we found it, uh, found out that one of, uh, actually one of the fellows that we were really looking for mm -hmm. to see actually only lives about two hours away from us oh, in wow. Florida. So we're we gonna, met we're his, look him up two of his sisters home. and a yeah, brother yeah. and we got the information and he's supposed to call us. Yeah, we're going to try to get a hold of him. So you came all the way to Ottawa to find out someone lives yeah. two hours yeah, away really. from Yeah, really. <laughs>
Bethany Armstrong, I was here in the years 60 to 65. I graduated in 65 and, uh, uh, and then went on to Carleton and uh, McGill and then joined the Foreign Service. And I, I'd give a thank you to Mrs. Cochran if she sees this for, for being guidance counselor when I was in grade 12 and suggesting if I wanted to travel I should join the Foreign Service. And I did. So I give a big mark to guidance counselors. I was also here the same years that Bethany was here, 1960 to 65. Um, I've done a number of different things, but uh, what I've ended up doing is I'm uh, the director and owner of a private school in Toronto. Um, actually, there's two of them. One's called Willowwood School, um, which is a school that goes from grade one right through to grade 13. And uh, I also run a preschool uh, in North York, which is for children ages two to six. And um, that's really what I love to do. But I have two children, one who's uh, 10 and one who's 14. And uh, it's been a wonderful opportunity to come. <laughs> Coming back has really given me a lot of wonderful memories of, of the years that I spent at Nepean and, and roaming through the classrooms and the halls of Nepean reminds me of a lot of things that happened in those five years. Um, I've basically been at home and I've got three children, the, the youngest of whom is just leaving the nest this year. Um, I've been in medical research and have done sort of a little medical research studying on the side.
I'm Vivian Spear, used to be Walla Snell. And I live on Vancouver Island in the port of Sydney. And it's just great to be here with all the, all the gang. Here, I was at Nepean from 34 to 39. Graduated in 39. Uh, joined the Army on the 5th of September 1939 and was overseas in January 1940. Sad listening to the list of uh, that was read at the opening show, the in memoriam list. It's been wonderful to see everything in the nostalgia room and yeah. see your name in the paper for winning the high jump. <laughs> It's been a wonderful experience for me and of course my son and my daughter both attended here and uh, to see them meeting with their friends uh, it just makes up for the loss of mine. It's been great. Unless this will go, this lead takes us up to the third part of the, third part of the heritage wing. English extra help. Very similar structure to the PM. The art wing. Actually, the old home ec area used to be down here with fridges, etc. They want to see things the way they are. Oh, I see. Not the way they should be. Preparations are being made here for the art show, which is coming up soon. By the cafeteria area. This is the AV theater. Used by the phys ed department quite a bit. We are entering the guidance area. Thank you. 